When you launch Adobe FrameMaker 2017, a simple to use and easy to customize welcome screen guides you through common tasks. Let's look at the default appearances to get started. We'll also quickly explore ideas related to customizing the welcome screen. Recent items shows a list of files you can click to quickly reopen a document you worked with recently. Accessing files to open is quick. Use the Browse button to navigate to any folder, connect to a CMS repository, or even restore your last working session. There are also shortcuts to common templates. These make it easy to create a new document at the click of a button. Adobe makes it easy to stay informed on what's happening with FrameMaker. This section dynamically updates, so check back often to see what's new and newsworthy. When you want to learn more about FrameMaker, check out Resources, which are available at no additional charge. You can even update the appearance of the welcome screen by changing a few CSS and HTML files. These allow you to completely redefine the initial experience. The files are located in your user directory. Open them with any HTML editor to configure the entire default appearance and content. Changes can be as simple as tweaking the background color using the cascading style sheet or as involved as completely redesigning the welcome screen and its content to a more complete custom Ditto workflow. When you next restart FrameMaker, a new, updated welcome screen displays with your customized view. It's truly a personalized way to get started with everything you need to be more productive right from first launch. With Adobe FrameMaker 2017, you get one simple and customizable screen with quick access to recent files and a way to browse for content on your computer, network, or in a content management system. New files based on templates are a click away. Easy to use resources for learning or just refreshing your memory are all part of the new welcome screen.